blog. As we delve deeper into the interconnected web of corruption in Pine Bluff, Arkansas, the following sections expand on each key player, the suspicious financial activities, and the potential motives behind the mysterious death of Maurice Taggart. These findings will help paint a comprehensive picture of the power dynamics, betrayals, and criminal activities that have plagued the city. Go Forward Pine Bluff, GFBB, was launched in 2017, backed by Simmons Bank, with the intent of revitalizing the city through a series of public-private initiatives funded by a 5.8 cent sales tax. Over $40 million was raised, earmarked for various projects meant to stimulate economic growth, improve infrastructure, and enhance the quality of life in Pine Bluff. Despite these ambitious goals, the initiative has faced severe criticism for its lack of transparency, financial mismanagement, and failure to deliver on its promises. Many GFBB projects have been criticized for either being significantly over-budgeted or failing to materialize at all. The proposed go-kart track, for example, had a $3.5 million budget, which many local residents and critics argued was far above what was necessary for such a project. This has led to suspicions that the funds were mismanaged or possibly diverted for personal gain by those in positions of power. The narrow rejection of the proposal to extend the GFBB funding through a continued sales tax highlights the growing public distrust in the initiative. The residents of Pine Bluff, particularly low-income families, have expressed frustration over the lack of visible improvements despite the significant funds raised. As the former executive director of the Pine Bluff Urban Renewal Agency, FURA, Maurice Taggart was directly responsible for overseeing the allocation of public funds aimed at revitalizing blighted areas in the city. His involvement in the embezzlement scandal, where he and his associate Roderick Morris were accused of defrauding the agency of $667,000, placed him at the center of a major controversy. Taggart's death, under suspicious circumstances, has raised questions about whether he was silenced to protect others involved in the broader network of corruption. As CEO of GFBB, Ryan Watley is a central figure in managing the city's urban renewal efforts. Watley's leadership has been controversial, particularly regarding the allocation of funds and the transparency of GFBB's operations. Despite the large sums of money raised, Many projects under his watch have either failed to be completed or have not delivered on their promises, raising suspicions about where the money has gone. Mayor Washington has been a strong supporter of GFBB and its associated tax measures. Her administration, however, has faced growing criticism over the lack of transparency in how these funds were used. Despite her efforts to promote public safety and economic development, the failure of many key projects has led to widespread dissatisfaction among residents. The Franklins are influential figures in Pine Bluff's political and economic circles, with potential conflicts of interest in various urban renewal projects. Their involvement in GFBB and Fura raises questions about whether they have benefited personally from the misallocation of public funds. Sheriff Woods, a key law enforcement figure in Jefferson County, is rumored to have had an affair with Maurice Taggart's wife. This personal connection, combined with his position of power, could provide a strong motive for covering up Morris's death. Simmons Bank was instrumental in financing the GFPB initiative. The bank's executives have a vested interest in the success of the urban renewal projects, which has led to concerns about potential conflicts of interest and the bank's role in ensuring accountability. Judge Brown holds significant influence over legal outcomes in Jefferson County. His role in potentially steering investigations or court decisions to protect the interests of the elite in Pine Bluff adds another layer to the corruption scandal. As Maurice Taggart's son, justice could have been unknowingly manipulated by those who wanted his father dead. His potential involvement, whether direct or indirect, adds a personal dimension to the broader conspiracy. To fully uncover the extent of the corruption in Pine Bluff, a thorough investigation into the following areas is necessary, 
real estate holdings, financial discrepancies, LLCs and trusts, and legal case reviews. The detailed analysis of Pine Bluff's complex network of corruption reveals a city plagued by financial mismanagement, betrayal, and power struggles. The scenarios involving Maurice Taggart's death underscore the deep-seated corruption that has infiltrated every level of the city's leadership. A comprehensive investigation is necessary to uncover the truth, hold those responsible accountable, and restore public trust in Pine Bluff's governance.